Hey, uh, welcome to my tutorial on how to install AI CoverGen locally with its dedicated Python environment. In the description below, you'll find all the necessary links and CMD commands. In the setup, you'll see that we need Git, Python, FFmpeg, and SOX. If you don't have Git, simply scroll down to find instructions for installing it on Windows. For Python, I'm using version 3.9.13. I recommend this version because it's the latest one with a Windows installer, making the installation process easier. To install FFMPG, scroll down and click on How to Install FFMPG on Windows, then follow the provided guide. For SOX, you can download it using the provided guide. I recommend getting the latest version. Once we have installed all the necessary components, we will open CMD and clone the AI CoverGen repository. Please don't use the commands provided here, as we will create a dedicated Python environment. You'll find all the commands in the description below. To open CMD, there are various methods. I recommend pressing the Windows key plus R to open the Run dialog, where you can type CMD and press Enter. When CMD is open, will initially be in the C drive, but my folder for installing AI CoverGen is on my B drive. To direct CMD to the target folder, where we want to install AI, we'll navigate to that folder. Next, we want to clone the AI CoverGen repository. Then we'll create our virtual environment for Python 3.9. After cloning AI CoverGen, we need to navigate in the CMD to the new folder so that we can create the Python environment there. To do this, press Windows key plus R and enter the following command. Percent local app data percent socks programs Python. Press enter to navigate to the folder where Python is installed. You'll see that I have both Python 3.10 and 3.9 installed. For AI cover gen, we need Python 3.9. So navigate inside the 3.9 folder and copy the path to python.exe. In the CMD, paste the path as shown in the description. You'll see the venv folder inside our AI CoverGen folder. Inside venv, there's information on how to activate the virtual environment. Simply use the provided command. And when you see venv before your drive in CMD, you're inside the virtual environment with Python 3.9. Now we can start by installing the requirements. This may take some time. At the end, you may notice that you can update the pip installation. I recommend doing so. Now that we have installed the requirements, we need to install the model so that we can generate AI covers. Additionally, we need to install TensorBoard X. When I first started AI CoverGen, I received a notification that it was missing. You can ignore the deprecation warning as it successfully gets installed. I recommend creating two batch files. One is for starting the Python environment without installing all the requirements making the CMD look cleaner. The other is recommended when git pull shows that new files have been added to ensure that all the requirements are installed. To create the two batch files, we'll generate two text files where we can input the code from the description below. Ensure that you choose descriptive names for these files so that you can distinguish between the one without the requirement installation. Also, remember to change the file extension from txt to .bat to convert it into a batch file. I'll also demonstrate how both CMD prompts will appear. 
Additionally, I'll indicate where the local URL for your web user interface, web UI, should be displayed. For downloading voice models, I've provided a Discord link below for AI Hub, where you can find many voice models. Alternatively, you can find them on Hugging Face. I hope everything works smoothly for you, and I wish you a great day. Goodbye.